Hi there, Interghost here, and it is February's pickup video. Interghost is at the carpool. He's picking up games to show to you. He really likes to play on his view. And if you think you've got a high score, well, that's what Retro Records is for. His ex con team aren't living anymore. Yeah, I'm just doing a very quick video this month. Uh, I've noticed that I'm about a week late, so I thought I'd do this very quickly. Uh, I haven't got a huge amount to show you this month, uh, mainly because I've been quite busy. I've actually started uh, writing my own book or novel or story or whatever it's going to turn out to be. Hopefully a book. Hopefully I'll get it um, up on Amazon so people can actually buy it and read it. Uh, that's the uh, plan anyway. It's something that I've been looking to do for, I don't know, three or four years. Every sort of um, New Year's resolution I said, right, I'm going to have to write my book this year. And I never actually did it. About a week ago, I think, I actually bit the bullet and started writing. I've had an idea for a book, which I did some notes for back along, and uh, I've actually started writing that now. So I'm almost 80 pages in, so I'm doing quite well. I'm only on chapter, coming up to chapter four, and I plan to do about 15 chapters. So that sort of shows you how big the story is going to be. So fingers crossed. Uh, wish me luck and hopefully I'll get that done this year um, I hope so yeah I mainly been picking up books as you know I'm really into reading at the moment and if you want to see all the books that I picked up if you follow my Instagram account then you can see all the books I'm not going to show them all because there's uh, quite a few uh, my wife uh, thinks that I've gone book mad because I keep buying more and more books so I picked up quite a few Richard Lehman books this month uh, I've read a couple already this year. I've read The Beast House and uh, The Lake, which were really both really cool books. I didn't actually realise that The Beast House is part of a trilogy. This is the third one, The Midnight Tour. The Beast House is the second book, and there's one before it called The Cellar, which I didn't realise when I read the second book, but you know, I'll read the first one as a, as a prequel. And Sod's Law, I actually went on to eBay to buy the seller, which was the first book. And there was an offer on uh, the person who's selling the book. And it was buy three books, get one free. So I thought oh, I might as well buy three other books while I'm at it. This was one of them. So I ordered four books from them, including the seller. And they came through a couple of days ago. And they only sent me three of the books. And the book which was missing was the seller, which was the one I originally wanted. So I sent them a message. I haven't heard anything back yet, but hopefully they will send me that copy soon. I also picked up quite a few Christopher Pike books, which are sort of uh, young adult horror books. I uh, really like the covers, I'll just show you a couple. This is The Last Vampire and The Listeners. Never read any of these before. Um, I'm actually reading one at the moment called Monsters, which is about some high school kids who get sort of possessed I think they're sort of pointing towards sort of they're like alien vampire type things it starts off with somebody in the school uh, going to a party and shooting a load of their friends because they think that they've they've been taken over by these monsters and yeah it's quite good so yeah I, got, I picked up quite a few Christopher Pike books I also picked up quite a few point horror books which are again young adults or teen horror books again really like the covers on these so you've got cemetery the train and the snowman now these were like books which come out in sort of like the 90s I remember seeing them all the time in the shops and in the library never actually read any of them I've only read one so far and I really enjoyed it is sort of very 90s esque horror and looking forward to reading some more uh, again check out my Instagram I've got a load of these and finally I picked up a few uh, hard case crime books now this is a series of books which are all, they've all got this uh, nice spine on it so for collectors like me 
uh, it hooks you in because you want to get all these uh, this whole collection of all these spines. They use lots and lots of different authors to uh, write these stories and uh, Stephen King's done a few and there's uh, some other ones but the biggest thing about these books are the covers again uh, Blood Sugar which I actually read this one a couple of weeks back it's about some people who put razor blades and bleach and that sort of stuff into kids chocolate bars at Halloween to try and kill kids on the neighborhood uh, it doesn't actually happen and but it's a it's sort of a backstory into the people who do it and they've got like a broken home and you sort of find out all about the reason why they're doing what they're doing uh, so that was quite a good one and pimp not one I've read but yeah they've got sort of like 50s style covers and uh, they look really cool so yeah I picked up a few of those as well that's just a couple of them as you are probably aware if you watch my videos I am also collecting Masters of the Universe Origins figures and just today I received this through the post I've been I'm in an ring about this one because it's quite expensive but I, I sort of thought I'm gonna go for it it's the Skeleton Warriors so I think these are actually based on art that was on the Castle Grayskull box or some other boxes back in the 80s they never actually made the figures but you'd always see these like skeleton warriors fighting in the background there's a really good picture on the back and uh, there's Skeletor leading them and yeah they'd always depict these skeletons fighting but they never actually made the figures so they actually made a couple of the figures and they glow in the dark and they as they always do release them as a limited edition run and uh, put them out and the reason I wasn't going to get it is I think this cost about just over £60 but then I thought well you are getting two figures so you're looking at about £30 a figure and for the limited edition Origins figures that they're bringing out at the moment £30 is quite good like the normal ones go for just sort of like £25 and then yeah the other ones can go ridiculous prices so I thought £30 a figure I'll pick them up put them in the collection and finally I did get a couple of games uh, this month I wasn't going to but I saw this one on a video on YouTube and I can remember playing it uh, back in the day on I think it was the 3DS or DS I can't remember which one it was but it's Mario vs Donkey Kong it's a sort of puzzle game where you're Mario you have to like collect up the keys go along the platforms to unlock the doors and I think it's also got the original Donkey Kong game in it as well where you have to climb up, jump in the barrels and get to the top. But yeah, I can remember really enjoying it. It's, it's like a puzzle game and it was only about £30 in Smiths. So I went down and, and picked that up because I just need a sort of pick up and play game. Um, but I haven't really got time to play any of these long games anymore. But when I was down there, so I was intending just to pick this one up, but they had a table with like random games, which I'm, I think they might have only had like one or two copies left of each one. So they had them all at like the front of the store next to the counter, with, and they were all like individually marked up. And I saw this one, and it was only £10, and it's Clive and Wrench. And I thought, oh yeah, I like the uh, look at that box. Picked it up, had a look at the back, read the back. Then in the store, I actually got my phone out and looked up a trailer for it. And it looks a little bit like updated sort of version of Banjo and Kazooie. You've got this main rabbit character who's got like a monkey on its back for some reason. And it's a 3D platformer game where you, it's like a collector bomb game where you have to go around collecting up different bits to get to the next level. Sort of like Mario as well, where the more of these stars or puzzle pieces or whatever it is you have to collect, the more of them you get, you get the more doors get unlocked and you can progress like that. I'm always a fan of those type of games and I thought for £10, it looked pretty cool. If it's not that great, you know, I can always sell it on. But yeah, never heard of it. Clive and Wrench. If you played it, let me know what you think. And that's it, that's all I've got for this month. Um, sorry that it's a short video and it's probably a bit rambly. Yeah, I, I'm trying to get a video out every month. I've sort of done a New Year's resolution to try and get a video out on this channel every single month. As you know, I'm spending a lot of time editing the videos for the other channel, Into Ghost House, where I'm doing movie reactions. If you haven't checked that out, please can you go and do that. Only 7% of the people who look at those videos actually subscribe, so if you haven't subscribed to that channel and you like this channel, 
I really love it if you would go over there and support that one as well. So that's what a lot of my time is going into, writing my book, editing those reaction videos, trying to get some reading in. I go to the cinema every so often and apart from that I haven't got time to do much else so here we go. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will hope to come back next month and show you what I picked up for March. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.